games you'll watch them on match of the day tonight and that'll be stop. 10 times worse than that well not 10 times worse but be worse conditions as bad as that well, we've worked hard really worked hard and the end product's nil in it the real sting in the tail is the loss of gate money every penny counts and eric counts every one of them money is the big thing in football i think as everybody is aware that the Premiership uh, get paid too much and we don't get paid enough and the running costs, you know, are ginormous. So in a bid to offset these costs, the club has rented the Crown Pub next to the ground and installed landlady Hazel Street, a lifelong publican and Aki fan. Well, my father used to be secretary of Aki to Stanley back in the 40s, 50s and early 60s. That was when it were at Peel Park, so I were on the pitch side a week old with my father. Already ensconced as landlady of Accrington Stanley's clubhouse bar, Hazel seemed the perfect choice to take charge of the crown too. I built the clubhouse up and when they got this, I were over the moon because I used to work here in the 80s and I worked here for nearly 15 years so it was home from home. I'm coming home and to come back as the boss were absolutely fantastic. Surprise, surprise. Eric's hands-on management includes counting the pub takings. He's not happy. We've got a lease on it, and uh, unfortunately, uh, the company that, that owned the pub, they're not, certainly not my favourite uh, company, and I don't think if I got chance, I'd ever deal with him again. In fact, I have a meeting with him next Tuesday, you know, here at the club, about... You know, the uh, prices that they, you know, that they charge and... I mean, there's only them making any money out of it during the week. We thought that uh, we get our supporters in our club, but the away fans, you know, we never got it. So we thought if we get the Crown Pub where all the away fans go, you know, we'll... we'll it's not a nice thing to say, but we'll take everybody's money then. It's a bit wet down here, isn't it? Okay. We'll be able to come in Sunday if it's yeah, if weather's all right because we'll we've got to get Tuesday's game on against yeah. looking Brentford. <laughs> huh? no, no, no. Again, after what happened last time. It's a damn Tuesday in winter. It's been five weeks since the postponed Brentford game. Now, replay time. Accrington and Stanley have been on a long losing streak. We've won one out of the last seven games. We've lost the last six at home. To be quite honest, you know, I mean... The people, certainly, of Accrington don't need an excuse not to come, but if you're not winning, they've got every excuse, so, you know, we need, we need to get a result tonight. As the fans dribble in, manager John Coleman has his regular pre-match chat with chairman Eric Wally. Have you picked team, John? Picks yourself, so... <laughs> not like I have, yeah. yeah. It's you know? It's usual. Accrington Stanley pitch, it's like Wembley. Is it? It's, yeah, nice, it's yeah. absolutely brilliant. It's, it's it's not like, is that like the old Wembley or after it got demolished? It may not be Wembley, but the pitch is past fit this time round. It's a long way to come on a Tuesday night for Brentford fans, based over 200 miles away, and the faithful turning up won't compare to that ill fated Saturday. If they'd have come on a, a, a Saturday afternoon, they'd have brought 900 people. They're probably only going to bring, say, say 200 today. So that's 700 people who, on an average of, of £10 a person, it, it, it's £7,000. It's up to, up to £7,000, perhaps we could lose. But what I said before, enjoy the game. Play with a smile on your face. Come on, Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on let's go. Accrington okay. Stanley fans are as desperate as anybody for a win. <laughs> With John Coleman's encouragement ringing in their ears, the team gives its all. Stanley have had the best of times at the worst of times, and when those pals in red run on the park, the time is theirs to make win or lose. It's a rare home win 1-0, and a needed boost for the club team and manager John Coleman. Hey, sit down, listen up. That's a clean seat, that's the, that's the fucking only grail for us. We've got to build on it. We've got to build on it, and how did you get it? By hard work, and you'll get your rewards. 
because you're a good footballing side. <coughs> now let's keep it going. <coughs> Will you win? Has a home win put a smile on Eric's face? Well, I don't really know you, Billy Luke. It's uh, not when I'm counting gate money tomorrow, I don't think so. Have Accrington and Stanley finally broken their run of bad luck at home? We're not holding the ball up, we're not defending strong enough, we're not playing the right balls. You take your fucking pick. Ah, maybe not. <laughs>